morning mga par. Welcome back to my channel. So, today since hindi tayo makapagbisikleta, um, I will do a little bit of a tutorial content on how to plot a lot bearing using AutoCAD. I will call this segment as Tada! So, bago mag-start ng sketch for design plan si architect or gumawa ng floor plan, ang isa sa mga kinoconsider niya ay yung shape ng lot at saka yung lot size. So, ito yung gagawin natin ngayon. Actually, may two ways ako ng pagpaplat ng lote gamit ang AutoCAD. Yung isa ay yung manumano as in manual sa AutoCAD step by step. Um, gagawin ko siya. Then yung second ay yung as in isang snap lang. Nakaplat na yung lote. Inevitable. Ito, umpisa na na. So, let's start. Um, basically, yung mga information like yung distance at angle, makikita, makikita yon sa Transfer of Certificate Title or sa TCP. Ang ginawa ko is I just type it on the AutoCAD then uh, para mas madali sa akin na sundan. So, yung first way ko ng pagpa-plat ng lot bearing ay yung manumano or manual na itatype ko siya sa AutoCAD. Uh, so, first step is just type all line or PL enter then shift at 3 meters from point 1 and 2 then shift angle north 40 degrees or T then 48 minutes west. Enter. Then, same command from point 2 to point 3. Shift at the distance is 49.08. Then, shift angle north 52 degrees 32 minutes east. Enter. Then same command, shift at 0.3 to 4 is the distance is 16.96. Shift angle south 38 degrees 00 minutes is enter. Then 4 to 5. Shift at um, 28.89, then shift angle south 51 degrees um, 40 minutes west. Enter. Then uh, point 0.5 to 6. Shift at distance is 14.43 shift angle north 40 degrees then 52 minutes west enter then from the last point is uh, point 0.6 to point 0.1 shift at distance 19.32 shift Angle south 52 degrees 32 minutes west. Enter. Close. That's it. So, ito na yung shape ng lat natin. Then, lagay lang natin tong mga parang points. So, yan. Ang unit ko nga pala is, uh, my unit is uh, meters. Since yung nasa 
transfer of certificate title is nanometers. So, try natin siyang i-measure. So, that's it. 3 meters. Then, itong angle na 0.2 to 3. 49.08. And then, 3 to 4. Sixteen point ninety six, then four to five, twenty eight point eighty nine, and then five to six, fourteen point forty three, then the last point is. Uh, 19.32. So, yan na yung naging shape ng lat natin. Dinilit ko muna yung pinlat natin kanina. So, para introduce nyo yung second way yung pagpa-plat ko ng lat bearing. As in, one snap lang maka-plat na yung lode. So, all you need to do is look for the notepad. Yeah. Then, um, write down the P line command, poly line. Then, at the distance, 3 meters. Then, the angle, um, north, 40 degrees, D, 48 minutes, apostrophe, west. Same command as what we did before on the, on the AutoCAD. Then, and so on and so forth. Type close at the end, then save as mo siya as save as mo siya as then then instead of text that scr so si save mo siya as script then after mo siyang save actually na save ko na siya before so yun all you need to do is just drag it on the auto head yun so ganyan lang siya kabilis Ang ginagawa ko, uh, pag may mga bagong lat ako na ipa-plat, yan, um, um, ini-edit ko lang to. May format na ako. But then, sisave us ko lang siya. So, that's it. Yun yung pinakamabilis na way para sa akin. So, thank you for watching my tutorial. And, just write down your comment or suggestion for another tutorial and see you soon.